Hello again, my name is Ben, here today with another mock showcase. Here with me this time is this, uh, I don't really have a name for it. It's just like supposed to be a deep sea research vessel. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have a name for it, but you know, here it is. Uh, yeah, once again, sorry there wasn't a video yesterday. I mean, I made the video yesterday explaining why there wasn't, but like I said, there's gonna be a video today, which is this one. So, uh, yeah. Here it is. Size comparison to the minifigure. It's not that large. Definitely just sort of a smaller build. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, starting off the instructions, starting off the front. Obviously, the most the things that stand out the most are the claws, as it's a research vehicle. I imagine that it's supposed to use these for grasping onto things and, I don't know, doing something. Their construction is pretty simple, using some of these claw pieces in silver. Uh, just get to fix a bit. Uh, with, to clutch with some clips or hinges and the arms there's really not much going on with them They're just basic mixel ball joints with just a few just, you know grills and stuff on them uh, The front here see some slopes building up the front, you know, just giving it this Sort of curvature that I think looks pretty nice gives it a distinct look So yeah, it's kind of uh, asymmetric, asymmetrical because you know there's a sticker on this one, but you know, I couldn't take it off. So yeah Sides here you see some tiles some of these quarter round plates. Just give it some more look Some more slopes some real slopes just some, some tiles here same on each side not much to say cockpit just one of these uh bu Bubble, I don't really know what they're called. I just know they use them on the 2013 gunship uh, Inside see the control panel and the pilot not much to say about the pilot and there really isn't much of a seat, and just kind of basic plates. But it's, it kind of just closes. It's a little gappy there, but it's the best I could do. Uh, moving towards the back, see it kind of curves inward and gets thinner. Uh, I just use some basic hinges, uh, studs on the side techniques. See some bricks building up, build up here, some 2 by 4 bricks. Some more tiles, and just slopes and grills. Uh, to just give it more smoothness. It's a little uh, kind of heavy on studs. There's a lot of open studs, but I just couldn't find enough tiles in time. Uh, some more detailing here. In the back, you'll see just uh, some more slopes and grills. Uh, folds down. Whoops. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing to pull down, so it can come off quite easily. And then these parts just open up and and see inside here. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. I know it's, I'm, I want to put something in here, but I just can't think of what. I don't know. Maybe I'll think of something. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, there really isn't much in there. Just some tiles to get this thing to slide out. And just some things just to keep it in place. The two cylinders with the studs on top are just to make sure it doesn't uh, be loose in there. But yeah, I'll see a little bit of how it was constructed. See these parts here. Just touch on those clips. And then, you know, not exactly the most involved or advanced technique, but that's just how I built it. On the sides, I use some of these uh, panel pieces. Well, not panels. Well, I guess they're panels, but uh, that were from the Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. I just think they look nice. And the solar design, I guess, adds to the look of it. Um, and also, they're yellow, so, you know, it helps. But yeah, doesn't not much else to say about it. It's kind of a basic design. So yeah, it's, it's gonna do it for the video. One other thing, I just like to fold this in like this on each wing. And then, uh, there, you kind of got like a tiny spacecraft. I don't know. It's kind of dumb, but I think it looks decent. And I think it could probably pass for a decent spaceship design if this part doesn't keep falling off. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it looks kind of nice. But, yeah, it's kind of going to do it for the video. Not much to say about this one. Uh, I don't know if it was worth delaying for a whole day. Uh, but, you know, I think it looks nice. It's got some de decent details. I just... I want to do something more with this whole opening up in the back and releasing something, but I just don't know what I could put back there.
but who knows? Maybe I'll think of something good. But it's kind of going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, sorry for not no video on Wednesday. Uh, and I hope this was good enough to satisfy your interests. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned next time. There, I want to say definitely, but I'm not too sure if there'll be a video next Wednesday. I'm pretty sure there will be. With all that being said, I just, again, hope you enjoyed it and just goodbye.